I want to travel far from Corsicana, culinarily speaking, all the way to India to find some food that's good for the belly. This small kitchen was started by brothers Lovedeep and Tajinder, and Corsicana was even more ready for it than I am. How did this come about? Yeah, we tried something new over here. Uh huh. Yeah, there's no Indian restaurant in Navarro County. <laughs> so y'all are the lone man standing. How's it going? Have people been receptive to it? Yes. Yeah. And they, they've been like, thank you, you guys opened this restaurant over here. <laughs> These brothers learned how to cook at Indian restaurants on the West Coast and knew Corsicana was ready, but they also knew they didn't want to combine it with their other family business next door. Uh, we were first thinking about like start the restaurant in a gas station, but then we thought like we don't get much respect towards the food, so we, sure. we built up this separate place to open it up. Right, this is really making everything from scratch. Yes, the everything right is made way. from scratch. Though the chicken is marinated, everything is made from scratch. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. He's like an alchemist back here. He's got all these little chemistry powders. He keeps sprinkling them on. And I can almost just feel myself sweating. He keeps going back to that chili powder. Indian cooking is all about spice. And much of it revolves around a tandoor clay oven. What? It's like some fiery inferno. Oh, it's where they cook meat and classic Indian naan bread. Yeah, then we stick it to the side of it. What? It just sticks to the side of the oven like that? Yes, sir. <laughs> I never knew that's how they cook naan bread. It's like white bread. I had a baby with a warm tortilla. I'm like, oh, good. They have adapted their menu to make it more familiar locally, like tikka masala pizza, which looks delicious. But I'm eager to try their take on the classics. All right. So I just asked him, what you cooking in the back? And evidently he said, I'm gonna cook you everything. We got chicken tikka masala, classic Indian dish. We got palak paneer, which is a cheese spinach dish. We have lamb korma. And here, another vegetarian dish called dal makhni. I mean, it's not so unfamiliar, right? I mean, that looks like a good plate at a church buffet. And you just take everything and you sop it up with a biscuit. Non bread, essentially, Indian biscuits. Oh, it's so good. Ooh. Hey there, little lamb. I see what you're doing. When you asked them I wanted mild, medium, or hot, frankly, I was terrified of what they would do at hot, so I went medium. And so it's got a good flavor punch. Like everything just kind of burns just a little bit. I don't know why I came around to Indian food so late in life. We've probably fallen into the rut too many times. You're in a small town, what do you eat? Barbecue, Tex-Mex. You gotta break out of that sometimes. You gotta like think a little bigger. Across the Pacific Ocean bigger. If you liked this video, chances are you're gonna love another video that's somewhere right about here. Or you can visit thedaytripper.com. But above all, what I want you to do most, remember the Alamo. I'll see all y'all out on the road. Bye con Dios, amigos.